previously on Outlast. The teams became individual players and were taken to the Shreveport Riverfront, where everyone struggled with the wind and pain of stretching to reach hanging marshmallows with medical tubing under their nose. After many torturous attempts, Matt, Jake, and David had the fastest times and advance in the game, sending all the remaining players to elimination. In elimination, the players were once again sent to the courtyard where another food challenge took place. Healthy, nutritious, and extremely hot smoothies were served. Bananas, strawberries, blackberries, and habanero pepper were the ingredients making this challenge even more difficult. Brandon, Ian, Dom, and Colin were the fastest and smoothest, which resulted in Maddie, Roderick, and Robert being eliminated from the game. Now, seven players remain. Who will outlast them all? In this fourth challenge, the players were taken into Tiny Town one at a time. The task? Make your way through the multi-levels of the playground, guided by a 200-foot rope. The twist is that each player will be wearing blacked-out goggles so that they can't see anything, forcing them to feel their way through. The fastest times advance, and the slowest will be sent to a final elimination. Get up, get up.
Because Matt and David had the fastest times, the remaining five players were sent to elimination. In elimination, the players were taken to a final challenge in the courtyard, and this one was the biggest of the food challenges. Each player was given two pounds of spaghetti, and when the time starts, they must eat as much as possible, without using their hands. Weighing what's left will show how much they've eaten, and that will determine who advances and who stays. It was extremely close, but Brandon and Colin ate the most in advance, meaning Jake, Ian, and Dom have been eliminated from Outlast. Next week on Outlast. Because everybody knows that he's the fire preventing bear. Smokey the bear, Smokey the bear, prowling and a growling and a sniffing in the air. He can find a fire before it starts to flame. That's why they call him Smokey. That was how he got his name.